In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. <coughs> the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, what I have done what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who consecrated the abundant first fruits of the Roman Church by the blood of the martyrs, grant, we pray, that with firm courage we may together draw strength from so great a struggle and even rejoice at the triumph of faithful love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Amaziah, the priest of Bethel, sent word to Jeroboam, king of Israel. Amos has conspired against you here within Israel. The country cannot endure all his words. For this is what Amos says. Jeroboam shall die by the sword, and Israel shall surely be exiled from its land. To Amos, Amaziah said, off with you, visionary, flee to the land of Judah. There, earn your bread by prophesying, but never again prophesy in Bethel, for it is the king's sanctuary and a royal temple. Amos answered Amaziah, I was no prophet, nor have I belonged to a company of prophets. I was a shepherd and a dresser of sycamores. The Lord took me from following the flock and said to me, Go prophesy to my people Israel. Now hear the word of the Lord. You say, prophesy not against Israel. Preach not against the house of Isaac. Now, thus says the Lord, your wife shall be made a harlot in the city, and your sons and daughters shall fall by the sword. Your land shall be divided by measuring line, and you yourself shall die in an unclean land. Israel shall be exiled far from its land. The word of the Lord. Be God. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing in the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them just. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. They are more precious than gold, than a heap of purest gold, sweeter also than syrup or honey from the comb. The judgments of the Lord are true. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. The entire the in, 
entering a boat, Jesus made the crossing and came into his own town. And there people brought to him a paralytic lying on a stretcher. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Courage, child, your sins are forgiven. At that, some of the scribes said to themselves, This man is blaspheming. Jesus knew what they were thinking and said, Why do you harbor evil thoughts? Which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Rise and walk? But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He then said to the paralytic, Rise, pick up your stretchers, and go home. He rose and went home. When the crowd saw this, they were struck with awe and glorified God who had given such authority to men. The Gospel of the Lord. Uh, today, the Universal Church celebrates the memorial of the first martyrs of the Holy Roman Church. Uh, many Christians were martyred for their faith in the year 64 in the Roman Emperor's Garden on the Vatican Hill. And that's who we honor today in our prayers, the first martyrs of the Holy Roman Church. Uh, we hear in St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 9, verses 1 through 8, that the crowds and the, the scribes react differently in different ways to Jesus' healing the paralytic. The scribes we heard accused them, accused Jesus of blasphemy. He forgave the, the sins of the sick man. But the crowds were struck with awe. They weren't sure what they were seeing. They've never seen anything like this before. Forgiveness of sins and full healing so the author concludes, let us always be attentive to the fact that the light of God's kingdom is always breaking through in our world every day. It's happening right now at this holy sacrifice of the Mass. And, and most of the time, it's in very ordinary ways. A beautiful sunrise, a sunset. Fourth of July is coming up, right? Just a few days. So it'll be a lot of barbecues, just eating, you know, barbecuing uh, hamburgers and hot dogs, watching the kids shoot fireworks, just enjoying friendships. Pretty ordinary. Those ordinary times are saturated with God's presence. And then the extraordinary moments, like in the confession, full forgiveness of sins. No matter what it is, ordinary or extraordinary, God is with us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And together we stand, raising our voices with trust in our Heavenly Father. Let us bring him our prayers this morning. We pray for the church. May the Lord gra Lord's grace strengthen us. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who hold positions of power, may the Lord continue to guide them with truth and light in their efforts to protect the dignity of life from the moment of conception through natural death, and build up, again, a culture of life. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who suffer from long-term ailments, may the Lord's healing power bring them to fullness of life. Let us pray to the Lord. For all of us called by God to bring his light to others in the world, let us pray to the Lord. And we pray for all the dead and the souls of all the war dead. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord and then just in the quietness of our hearts, own personal prayers, petitions to our Heavenly Father this morning. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord and we pray our Mass intention this morning uh, is listed for Jerry Bossy. Let us pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, Jesus taught us your way of mercy and compassion. Please listen to the needs we have presented this day and answer them in your great mercy. We ask all these things through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice Receive, Holy Father, the offerings we bring in commemoration of the holy martyrs, and grant that we, your servants, may be found steadfast in confessing your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyrs poured out like Christ's to glorify your holy name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours 
forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Uh, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord,
Let us pray. O God, who in your holy martyrs have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously grant that drawing strength from this sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the, ch in the church for the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended.